Alexander I, also known as Alexander the Unifier served as a prince regent of the Kingdom of Serbia from 1914 and later became King of Yugoslavia from 1921 to 1934. Early life, Alexander Karaja Radevaja was born on December 16, 1888 in Principality of Montenegro as the fourth child of Peter Karaja Radevaja and Princess Zorka of Montenegro. Despite enjoying support from the Russian Empire, at the time of Alexander's birth and early childhood, the House of Karaja Radevaja was in a political exile of sorts with different family members scattered all over Europe and able to return to Serbia that recently got transformed from a principality into a kingdom under Obranovia S who ruled with strong support from Austria-Hungary. The antagonism between the two rival royal houses was such that after the assassination of Prince Milo Obranovia in 1868, the Obranovia S resorted to making constitutional changes, specifically proclaiming the Karaja Radevaja S banned from entering Serbia and stripping them of civic rights. Alexander was only two when his mother Princess Zorka died in 1890 from complications while giving birth to his younger brother Andrija who also died only 23 days after being born. Alexander spent his childhood in Montenegro, however, in 1894 his widow or father took the four children, including Alexander, to Geneva where the young man completed his elementary education. Alongside his older brother George, he continued his schooling at the Imperial Page Corps in St. Petersburg, Russian Empire. In 1903 while young George and Alexander were off getting schooled abroad, their father Peter along with a slew of conspirators managed to pull off a bloody coup d'etat copyright tat in the Kingdom of Serbia known as May Overthrow in which King Alexander I Obranovia and his consort Queen Draga were murdered and viciously dismembered. House of Karana Radevaja thus retook the Serbian throne after 45 years and Alexander's 58-year-old father became King Peter I of Serbia, prompting George's and Alexander's arrival to Serbia to continue their studies becoming crown prince. One of the key moments in Prince Alexander's life occurred in March 27, 1909 when his older brother Crown Prince George publicly renounced his claim to the throne after strong pressure from political circles in Serbia. George was long considered unfit to rule by many in Serbia including powerful political and military figures such as Prime Minister Nikola Poirier, as well as high-ranking officers Dragutin Apis Dimitri Javier and Peter Angstrom one half of Kovia who didn't appreciate the young man's impulsive nature and unstable, incident-prone personality. George was the perpetrator of the tragic incident in 1909 when he kicked his servant Kula Kovia in the stomach, causing the unfortunate man to die from the injury several days later. The incident served as the final straw. It grew into a huge scandal in the Serbian public as well as in the Austro-Hungarian press, which reported extensively on it, and 21-year-old Prince George was forced into renouncing his claim to the throne. In 1910 Prince Alexander nearly died from stomach typhus and was left with stomach problems for the rest of his life. In Belgrade on June 8, 1922 he married Princess Maria of Romania, who was a daughter of King Ferdinand of Romania. They had three sons, Crown Prince Peter, and Princes Tomislav and Andrich. Balkan Wars and World War I In the First Balkan War in 1912, as commander of the First Army, Crown Prince Alexander fought victorious battles in Kermanovo and Bitola, and later in 1913, during the Second Balkan War, the Battle of Brugalnica. After the Turks' withdrawal from Scorpia, Prince Alexander was met with flowers by the local people according to tradition. It was then when he asked the girl who handed him the flowers, who are you? And slapped her when the girl responded she was Bulgarian. In the aftermath of the Second Balkan War Prince Alexander took sides in the complicated power struggle over how Macedonia should be administered. In this Alexander bested Colonel Dragutin Dimitri Javier or a peace, and in the wake of this Alexander's father, King Peter, agreed to hand over royal powers to his son. On June 24, 1914 Alexander became regent of Serbia. At the outbreak of World War I he was the nominal supreme commander of the Serbian army, true command was in hands of chief of staff of supreme headquarters, position held by Stepa Stepanovia, Radomir Putnik, Peter Bajovia and Angstrom one half I Virgin Mia Ia. The Serbian army distinguished itself in the battles at Cher and at the Drina in 1914, 
scoring victories against the invading Austro-Hungarian forces and evicting them from the country. In 1915 the Serbian army with the aged King Peter and Crown Prince Alexander suffered many losses being attacked from all directions by the alliance of Germany, Austria-Hungary and Bulgaria. It withdrew through the gorges of Montenegro in northern Albania to the Greek island of Corfu, where it was reorganized. After the army was regrouped and reinforced, it achieved a decisive victory on the Macedonian front, at Kham Kalan. The Serbian army carried out a major part in the final Allied breakthrough on the Macedonian front in the autumn of 1918. King of Yugoslavia On December 1, 1918, in a pre-arranged set-piece, Alexander, as regent, received a delegation of the People's Council of Slovens, Croats and Serbs, an address was read out by one of the delegation, and Alexander made an address in acceptance. This was considered to be the birth of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovens. In 1921, on the death of his father, Alexander inherited the throne of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovens, which from its inception was colloquially known both in the kingdom and the rest of Europe alike as Yugoslavia. On January 6, 1929, in response to the political crisis triggered by the assassination of Stjepan Radia, King Alexander abolished the constitution, prorogued the parliament and introduced a personal dictatorship. He also changed the name of the country to Kingdom of Yugoslavia and changed the internal divisions from the 33 oblasts to nine new Banovinas on October 3. In the same month, he tried to banish by decree the use of Serbian Cyrillic to promote the exclusive use of Latin alphabet in Yugoslavia. In 1931, Alexander decreed a new constitution which transferred executive power to the king. Elections were to be by universal male suffrage. The provision for a secret ballot was dropped and pressure on public employees to vote for the governing party was to be a feature of all elections held under Alexander's constitution. Furthermore, the king would appoint half the upper house directly, and legislation could become law with the approval of one of the houses alone if it were also approved by the king. Assassination After the Ustoiz Vlebit uprising in November 1932, Alexander said across an intermediary to the Italian government, if you want to have serious riots in Yugoslavia or cause a regime change, you need to kill me. Shoot at me and be sure you have finished me off, because that's the only way to make changes in Yugoslavia. As a result of the previous deaths of three family members on a Tuesday, Alexander refused to undertake any public functions on that day of the week. On Tuesday 9 October 1934, however, he had no choice as he was arriving in Marseille to start a state visit to France, to strengthen the two countries' alliance in the Little Entente. While Alexander was being slowly driven in a car through the streets along with French Foreign Minister Louis Bothos, a gunman a Euro the Bulgarian from Macedonia Vlado Aouinozemski, stepped from the street and shot the king twice and the chauffeur with a Morsa C-96 semi-automatic pistol. Alexander died in the car, slumped backwards in the seat, with his eyes open. Bothell was badly wounded in the arm but died later due to inadequate medical treatment. It was one of the first assassinations captured on film. The shooting occurred straight in front of the cameraman, who was only feet away at the time. While the exact moment of shooting was not captured on film, the events leading to the assassination and the immediate aftermath were. The body of the chauffeur became jammed against the brakes of the car allowing the cameraman to continue filming from within inches of the king for a number of minutes afterwards. The assassin was a member of the Bulgarian Internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization and an experienced marksman. Immediately after assassinating King Alexander, Kronosmsky was cut down by the sword of a mounted French policeman, and then beaten by the crowd. By the time he was removed from the scene, the king was already dead. The IMRO was a political organization that fought for secession of Varda Macedonia from Yugoslavia and becoming again part of the Bulgarian Kingdom. The leader of the organization in that time was Ivan Mihailov. 2. IMRO worked in alliance with the Croatian Ustor E group led by Anti Pavilia. Kronosmski and three Croatian accomplices had traveled to France from Hungary via Switzerland. After the assassination, Kronosmski's fellows were arrested by French police. 
although there is no final evidence that either Italian dictator Benito Mussolini or the Hungarian government were involved in the plot, the public opinion in Yugoslavia was that Italy had been crucial in the planning and directing of the assassination. The incident was later used by Yugoslavia as an argument to counter the Croatian attempts of secession and Italian and Hungarian revisionism. The film record of Alexander I's assassination remains one of the most notable pieces of newsreel in existence, alongside the film of Tsar Nicholas II of Russia's coronation, the funerals of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom and Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria, and the assassination of John F. Kennedy. The film was later revealed to have been manipulated in order to give the audience the impression that the assassination had been captured on film. Three identical gunshot sounds were added to the film afterwards, when in reality Kronosmski fired his handgun over ten times, killing or wounding a total of fifteen people. The exact moment of assassination was never filmed. Just hours later, Kronosmski died of the injuries inflicted on him by the crowd in the chaos. The following day, the body of King Alexander I was transported back to the port of Split in Croatia by the Yugoslav destroyer J.R.M. Dubrovnik. After a huge funeral in Belgrade attended by about 500,000 people and many leading European statesmen, Alexander was interred in the Memorial Church of St. George, which had been built by his father. The Holy See gave special permission to Bishops Aloysius Stepanak, and Tun also known as Amovia, Dionysius and Gerardi and Gregorich row three-quarters man to attend the funeral in an Orthodox church. As his son Peter II was still a minor, Alexander's first cousin Prince Paul took the regency of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Unknown to the public, King Alexander I had a large heraldic eagle tattooed over his chest. Issue, Ancestors, in popular culture, the song Don Juan by British synth duo Pet Shop Boys contains the phrase King Zog's back from holiday, Marie Lopescu's Grey and King Alexander is dead in Marseille. Honours and awards, references and notes, notes. The First Central Committee of IMRO. Memoirs of Dia Christo Tatarkov, Materials for the Macedonian Liberation Movement, Book 9, Sophia, 1928, PA 102. THTH three quarters N euro TH micron THTH NTH degree through if degree NTH micron N euro TH NTH TH 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 degree TH N NTH three quarters N euro TH N NTH degree TH one half TH degree TH one quarter TH degree TH TH micron TH TH three quarters TH one half N TH TH three quarters N TH three quarters TH three quarters N TH squared TH three quarters Quarters th plus or minus th three quarters th th n th micron th th one half th three quarters th th square th th paragraph th micron th one half th th micron th one half th degree through if degree th th micron th th three quarters th one half n th th n th one half th degree n florin n th micron th one half th th one half n n th n on florin an nth one half th degree for the with th th squared th three quarters th th micron th one half th three quarters n th plus or minus nsh th th cubed th degree n euro n th th n th degree th th degree th th micron th one quarter th 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 n euro th three quarters n th on th plus or minus th three quarters th one quarter th n euro through with th th micron n th n th th one half th th cubed th degree nine th three quarters n th n 1928. Farley, Bridget, King Alexander and the Royal Dictatorship in Yugoslavia, Inban J. Fisher, Balkan Strongman, Dictators and Authoritarian Rulers of Southeastern Europe, 51-86. Bibliography, Markovia, Marco. Povigist CRNE Lezic, Jury I. Bobin A. Passmore, Kevin. Women, Gender, and Fascism in Europe, 1919-45. Manchester University Press. ISBN A 0 7190 4 External links, newsreel footage of the assassination of King Alexander, the official website of the Serbian royal family, 
Royal Mausoleum Oplenak.